Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Today I'm going to show you the right way to set up email rules. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a community of supporters. Join us and get exclusive content at MacMost.com slash Patreon. So occasionally I get email from people that want to set up rules for their email. This means that as the email comes in it's automatically processed. It's put into a folder, it's thrown in the trash, it's forwarded to somebody. Now you can do this in the Mail app on your Mac but you shouldn't and I'm going to explain why. The correct way to do it is on the server and I'll show you how. Okay, So your email originates of course from the Internet. We'll represent it with this red dot here. Then it's going to go to your email server. From there it's going to go to your computers. Now in the old days we may have had just one desktop computer. Then the email would have gone to your desktop computer. And then you could have set a rule there in the Mail app. And that rule would do something to that email. Label it, move it to a folder, do something. It would apply that rule. And that's it. It would work great. But that's not how things work now. Now we've got multiple computers and other devices like phones, tablets, etc. So what happens is the email comes from the Internet and goes to your server. From there it goes to all of your devices. Now if your desktop Mac is the one with the rule it's going to apply that rule on the desktop. And then you end up in a state like this. On your desktop the rule has been applied. Perhaps that email has been moved to the trash or a folder or somewhere else. But if you look on your laptop you don't see that rule applied. And if you look on your phone you also won't see it applied. What will happen eventually is your desktop will sync with the email server and apply that rule across all of your devices. But it will take some time and it's very glitchy. What's worse is say your desktop is offline. Say it's simply asleep or you've turned it off. Now the email comes into your server and then it goes to your laptop and your phone and the rule is never applied because the desktop isn't awake to apply it. So unless you're going to have your desktop always on and always receiving email and always patiently waiting for your desktop to process an email, sync back with the server before you check your email on your other devices. Setting rules on your desktop computer is not going to be a good way to go about doing it. A better way is to have the rule applied on the server. So the email comes into the server, the rule is applied there, and then the email is sent to your devices. And it's sent there already inside a folder or having been put in the trash or forwarded to somebody or marked as read. So adding a rule on your server is fairly easy. I'm going to show you how to do it if you're using iCloud email. If you're using Google or Gmail you can do it there as well although they call it filters. Other email systems will call it different things but you have to usually log in to your email service on the web and go to your controls and settings there. Now old fashioned ISP email is not going to offer this. But if you're still getting your email from your ISP you should definitely think about moving to a more modern system like iCloud or Gmail. So I'm going to log into iCloud.com in the browser. This brings up all the iCloud apps and I want to go to Mail. Once I'm in Mail I'm going to click on the Actions menu or Settings here at the bottom and go to Rules. And here's where I can add rules. There's an Add Rule button here and it's fairly straightforward from there. You can test to see if a message is from an email address, addressed to an email address, is CC to or is both. You can also check to see if the subject contains words. And also you can check the list ID to see if it contains words. Although I don't really find many examples of list ID being used in email anymore. So you enter your information in here. So if it's from a certain email address then here are the things that you can do. You can move the email to a folder. Move it to the trash. You can have it forwarded to somebody. You can mark it as read which is really just a little indicator or still be in your inbox. You can combine some things. Mark as read and move to a folder, move to the trash and mark as right at the same time and forward and also mark as right. So there are the things that you can do. We'll try this out. By adding this rule here and there's the rule. I can click I to edit it or hit the delete button. I can also drag the rules so I can see which one is applied first. Then I can hit done and I can return to those rules anytime I want to alter them. 
Now there is a downside to using iCloud's rules like this because there aren't as many options as there were in the Mail app on the Mac. You could do things like filter by content or stack up a whole bunch of different conditions. So you have to stick to the basics using iCloud rules. If you're using Google's Gmail servers then you have a lot more options available in their filters. I publish new tutorials every weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. Then hit the little bell icon to get notifications for each new tutorial.